Welcome, everyone. Lovely to see you, to be with you. <clears throat> so if we are uh, Turn our uh, gaze inwards or close your eyes if you like to, you don't have to. And uh, simply welcome your experience as it appears to you, letting go of uh, the past just for the duration of this meeting to simply be to be as a presence, to uh, invite the mind to rest without uh, reference to knowledge, without reference to time, without reference to memory. Whatever appears to you is what it is. We don't need to figure anything out. To simply be not knowing. Not knowing means this openness, the openness of being. Effortless welcoming. Without any plan, without any agenda. Because you are the destination. We are not seeking any mind state. We are not seeking anything. So you are this available space, aware space, alive space, awake space. Borderless presence, a space without borders. And everything which appears to you appears to you from the universe. In this moment, creation, creativity in this moment. Hearing these words, noticing the breath, the heartbeat.
Maybe the light shining through the window or not. As this effortless, uh, transparent presence, there is no separation. No limitation. Because there is no mind, no stories, no time. And everything that appears to you, like hearing these words right now, is a reverberation of this presence. Because presence is dynamic. In stillness, it is peace, tranquility, and well being at the core. It is non movement. But there is also the movement the vibration. Which is consciousness taking on the form of thoughts and sensations, perceptions. But everything that you perceive refers you to yourself. Refers you to consciousness. Refers you to its reality. Reality is one. which is the true peace. Whereby me and you are one, one reality, one consciousness. And the mind with all its stories and history is quiet. And it is this quiet which is the source of well-being, the healing, and potential.
so you connect with this stillness. In this connection is the true healer. But it is not a mind state. It is your being, your inner being, your true and only being. Beingness. Knowingness. Sometimes there is the impression of division and the impression of separation. Why is that? How does that operate? We perceive distinctions. We perceive the ocean. We perceive the mountain. We perceive the village. We perceive the oak tree. We perceive others. But these are just different colors of the same white light, the colors of the rainbow. They all refer to the white light. Perceiving distinction, distinctions does not imply a separation. Separation is this belief that I am somebody, I am part of a tribe, I am a personal consciousness, a mortal body-mind, I belong to a certain family, culture, Maybe the body does. Some bodies are born in Africa and some other bodies are born in China to a certain family, a specific family, a specific tribe, a specific culture. But you are not that you are not that body-mind. You are this effortless awareness. But when you identify yourself with the family, with the body, with the tribe,
you overlook your true nature. You overlook God's reality. You overlook your essence, the essence of everyone and everything. You become mesmerized by the mind, by thoughts, sensations, and reactions. You become prey to the belief structure, to the archaic culture. You become a soldier. A patriot. A member of a family or a tribe. But you are none of that. We are all striving for peace and happiness. But you cannot find it via the mind. We need to come to the understanding about truth, about our true nature, our true self. Not that which appears and disappears, but the reality which neither appears nor disappears. That which is, which has no name, no age, no gender. You are not a form. You perceive a form. You take on the form or the shape of a form, but you are not a form. Look in your night dreams. Everything seems so real until you wake up. You realize the illusion. So let's wake up. Waking up reveals that you have never not been awake. Separation is an illusion, a veil, a mind. 
aspect. But you are not a personal mind. We are swimming in the ocean, looking for water. We are the son and daughter of the king. Believing ourselves to be beggars. So rather than being guided by the mind, by thoughts, and by history, rather than being guided by time, be guided by the light. the reality of consciousness. Be guided by the source. Before the word because before the word you are. the mind will misguide you until it is healed from ignorance. Until it is healed from the belief that you are somebody that you're a son or a daughter, a man, a woman, living their life on planet Earth until you are cured from that belief and come to the understanding that the body, body-mind, exists on planet Earth and breathes air and eats food, is fed. But you are not the body-mind. Reality, awareness, consciousness is not in time. You are not in time. Once you understand that, 
what remains is to explore what is it to live not in time. Sooner or later, you will recover your innate freedom. Yeah, freedom from the impression of time, the me impression. And right now, in this moment, it is available to us, the understanding that I, uh, the reality which perceives, is invisible to the senses, is non-phenomenal. beyond any limitation. And that there is no duality. And no separation. So we invite every sensation within our body-mind to be completely free. No effort. <laughs> 